Okay, so okay, so welcome, friends. Welcome again to your channel, Efficient Corporates. So again, uh, today we are uh, we are with a video regarding Power Query, and uh, this time we will be working on JSTR to be JSON files, and um, we will be seeing how we can merge all the JSTR to be JSON files at once, and also convert that JSON file into an Excel file. So let's start. Okay, so like if you have seen my channel before, we have. Uh, three videos already uploaded on the channel. It was regarding merging of JSTR to a Excel files, merging of JSTR to B Excel files, and merging of JSTR one JSON files. All these are built in the same logic in the same uh, way. Uh, you can see JSTR one JSON merging utility, two A merging utility, and two B Excel merging utility. So all these three utilities we have already discussed in uh, and the videos are uploaded on the channel. You can definitely go and have a visit. And this is the fourth video, and uh, this is regarding JSTR to be JSON merging. So here we will be seeing how we can merge all the JSON files into a single file and also convert it into the Excel file. And all this will be done without use of any macro, without use of any third-party apps, no software, no paid thing. The simple plain MS Excel file. Okay. So you have to download these files from the link uh, from the Google Drive link which I provided. Uh, there you will find all these five files are there and i've made related video regarding all these files and uh, the gesture to be json file so the first thing which we have to do is step one enter the folder path over here and what the folder should have if you can see gesture one json gesture to be json sorry gesture to be json test one what it has it has all the json files all the JSON files of JSTR to be which is downloaded from JST portal. So one thing which you need to take care is that the name of the JSTR to be JSON file should be in this order. Now, when you download it from the JST portal, it might have some other uh, like uh, other names. Okay. So again, uh, if you see, I have a, a video on my channel regarding renaming of multiple files. Like if you have to rename multiple files at once, then how you can do it? I have that uh, video. Up, uh, even you can go and check out. How, how to rename multiple files at once. Okay. So it's a very simple utility that even like you have like 100 or 200 files and you want to rename all those files at once. So uh, this video, you can see how we can rename it very easily. Okay. So this was regarding uh, that thing, renaming of the files. So I need the files into these format, gstn underscore uh, the mm then yyyy okay so the initials 15 digit and the six digit must be in this order after that you can have any length you want i just need the 15 and this six digit so this should be in this order with the underscore separated that's important and once you have kept this file like you kept all the json files over here from downloading from gst portal renamed all the files now you take this file path the folder path sorry the folder path and you keep the folder part over here just copy paste it and then uh, the step one is done step two go to the main seat this is the main seat sorry i'll call it the main dashboard and just go here and uh, hit right click and hit refresh or you can also go to data and then you can do refresh so when you are doing it for doing it for the first time it might take a bit longer but then uh, after that it will take a very small time small amount of time still so like within one minute at max, it will get up, updated. And the best part is you can later on add more files to this folder and then you can just refresh it and it will automatically add and combine all those files. It will come convert from JSON to Excel and combine it. So both the things it will do. So you will see here, here Pranav, there is just one pivot table, but I need the invoice wise list where I can get that. So for invoice wise list, you just need to double click on this pivot table and this invoice wise list you will be getting. Like there are 900 invoices, you have got this invoice wise list and you have the month name, you have all the fields which are there in JSTR 2B. Okay, you can also have uh, the invoice, uh, reverse star that tracks or not, uh, or not, ITC availability. So yes or no, both will come. In case not applicable, the reasons will come. So in that way, each and every uh, field which are there in JSTR to be that will be appearing. Now, uh, let me show you again by like doing this test too. Now I have again some more uh, JSON files over here. I'll go to the test too. I'll just copy paste in the folder path. I took the folder path from there, copy paste it over here, go to the main dashboard, go on right click and hit refresh. 
Now you again hitting the fridge, you will see there is a different month all together, May, June, uh, September. So yeah, so it might the data might change. You will see there is a four lakhs thirty eight thousand right now. So let's see how the amount changes afterwards. So just change the folder path and nothing else needs, needs to be done. Everything is being taken care of by the query and uh, it will be running. It will be converting all those JSON to Excel and combining it and giving it, uh, giving it to you in the, in the Excel form. And when you need the invoice wise details, you can simply uh, click on the taxable value total and you will get it. So max will take like a, a minute's time. Now you can see the amounts have changed. And uh, these are the uh, revised amounts, and this is the GSTR to be. So JSON has changed. So in that way, and you can just double click on it, and you will get the invoice wise details. So and there is no limit to the number of rows. You can see there is thirty four thousand invoices into this, and all those have been converted. So there is no any limit that how much invoices you can do. You can do it for multiple GSTNs as well. And in case you have any issues, you can definitely contact over here, and uh, we'll be. Uh, very happy to help for any issues which you have and so this was about uh, this tool and uh, there are some filters which you can apply the final fiscal year month wise filter seat name b2b b2b ctnr ctnr all these filters are there so yes you can definitely use this and uh, so this much about this tool for any issues we have the details over here you can mail it to us for any issues which you have and we would love to assist you with uh, any help you require. So this much for this video. See you again with uh, such exciting content again. Till then, stay tuned.